So we're here with Precinct Officer at the Wagga Bar mm -hmm. of the Israelite School of UPK. And I want to ask you, given your expertise in history, mm -hmm. who are the Moors? Mm -hmm. So when you look at the Moors, you have to remember that the Moors were different peoples that came together and went into the interiors of Spain through the Straits of Gibraltar. Now the Straits, Straits of Gibraltar is the area where Morocco is separated by a strait of water from Spain. So you're talking about North Africa is separated from Spain and the Moors went and invaded Spain under uh, General Tariq. Mm. Now General Tariq was what you call a Saracen. The Moors were Saracens, meaning they were black Arabs. Mm. These black Arabs came together with the quote unquote Berber tribes in that area. They don't tell you that these Berber tribes were dispersed Israelites. They just call them Berbers. They went through Spain almost with no opposition. Now, Spain had an army, but they were swiftly defeated. All of these cities in Spain, the Moors would conquer. Tariq and them would conquer these cities, and they would leave these Israelites, or what the history calls them as Berber Moors, to watch over these cities. Now, from 711 to the 1400s, they ruled Spain. They brought the level of education in Spain to a high level. They uh, instituted bathhouses, 900 bathhouses in Spain. The, the, the Spaniards at this time were living in a, in a low level, but the Spaniards of this time also oppressed Israelites that actually were living in Spain before the Moorish conquest. So you had Israelites in Cordova. Cordova has an actual synagogue where Israelites, black Israelites, had a, uh, would celebrate the Passover and the High Holy Days. Mm. And they had a wall that faced the East, that faced Jerusalem. Mm. And, but they were oppressed to the point where the Christian Spaniards would make them not celebrate the Passover. You couldn't profess that you was a Jew. Your children had to be baptized. You had to be baptized. And if you were caught uh, uh, reading any type of literature that was against Christianity, you would be persecuted. They would take your goods. They would do all type of evil things. One of the one of the evil things they would do is they would cut your wife's nose off. Mm. This is how the Spaniards treated the Jews or the Israelites that lived in Spain. So when the Moors came and, uh, and conquered Spain, it was a breath of fresh air because I know a lot of us don't understand this, but the, the Arabs or the sons of Ishmael, mm. they were Islamic. Mm -hmm. They came together with the Jews or the Israelites of the Bible and conquered Spain. And for 700 years, there was peace in Spain. They brought arithmetic. They brought the sciences. They brought medicine and how to do surgeries between the knowledge of the Israelites and the knowledge of the Saracens or Arabs. Mm -hmm. And so Spain went to the highest level of any European nation. I will get a lot of opposition for saying that the Moors are Israelites. Well, the Mo Moors are named from the Romans. The Romans called them Moors because the Horn of Africa was called Mauritania. Mm. And then you have Morocco. Mm. And so they called them Moors because of that. And it got to the point where anybody that was dark complected was right. called a Moor. Right. So if you're just going to say Moor, Moor wasn't actually a nationality. Mm. You can't claim to be Moors and say that's a nationality. Right. Now, when you look, you go into the uh, the book, Nature Has No Color Lines, you see the Moorish crest. Mm. But the, what they don't realize is that that headband around the head is an Israelite custom. Mm. You even see the shield of David on Moorish crest. Right. You see the shield of David on the, the pendants. I know you've seen those beautiful pendants that they made. Beautiful pendant looked like a piece of jewelry with a Moorish person with their, their garment on, but it's all jeweled up. You even have those with the shield of David. You have a lot of them that claim heritage of Jacob. They was called the Jacobites. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when you talk about Moors, 
you you got to be careful with that because it covered a lot of people so whatever the case may be they say like these people are lost and they're just trying to have some type of confidence in something to right. call their own you know right that's what i think about that moorish american thing you know because it, it it never was an identity uh black people that came in the transatlantic slave trade were not arabs we were negroes we mm -hmm. were israelites right that that had lost uh, a semblance of who we are but kind of remembered who we were excellent um so if i could ask you you mentioned that black people almost found an ally in ishmael in the arabs yes to conquer spain yes um did that have any influence on on brothers to practice islam oh definitely definitely that's a good question islam swept through syria through the what we know as Israel today, the area of Israel through the Middle East into Egypt, mm. it swept into the interior of Africa and the Horn of Africa, mm. all the way to West Africa. There was a time where you could not profess that you was a Jew. You could not say that you was an Israelite. You had to you had to name yourself an Islamic name, and you had to be a you know have that faith. Mm. There was a king in Timbuktu, Askia Muhammad who made a de decree that no one could profess of being a Jew. And if anybody was caught doing business with a Jew, he would confiscate their goods. Mm. So like we know through biblical history that this happened in other kingdoms. This happened in Greece. Hell, Kyrie Irving couldn't profess that he was a Jew right. here in America. So, so there's always been this thing, but what you've seen was a lot of Israelites. There's even a tribe that's today that lives in West Africa that knows and connects themselves to being Jews. But because of fear of persecution, they don't want to say that outwardly. So they are Islamic in, in, in culture and in practices, but they know their heritage is Israelite. That's the fear that Islam put in people. Right. You have to start practicing Islam. There's one more story with a brother, uh, Ishmael Diadi. Now, he's an Israelite, but his name is Ishmael Diadi. This brother has traced his family line back to Toledo, Spain. His great grandfather was ex uh, expelled from Spain when the Jews were expelled mm -hmm. and he moved down to Timbuktu. Well, this brother is living today. He has books written in Aramaic. He has books written in Hebrew and Spanish, and he can prove his bloodline that he's a Hebrew. You know what I mean? From that time mm -hmm. period. This history starts with the Moors invading Spain and conquering Spain for 700 years. Then in 1492, it's the expulsion of the Jews. Mm, mm, mm. And these Jews go where? 